Aloha yogis. Welcome to my channel and welcome yourself to your mat. This yin class, we're really going to focus on trying to let go of our minds and really tap into the sensations in our bodies and letting go. Come to a seat and start finding awareness of your breath. Palms facing up. Notice the contact of your body on your mat. Total awareness in your breathing here. Notice the inhale. Notice the exhale and the opening of your chest. Begin to feel the belly expand with each inhale. Feel the belly contract with each exhale. Feel the breath coming in through the nostrils and filling the lungs. Feel the breath exiting through the nostrils as the lungs deflate. Prelace your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly. Become aware of the lightness in the body. Awaken that lightness in each part of the body from the top of the head to the tips of the toes. Find that awareness. Relax the breath. Find your stillness. Feel the chest rise and fall. Feel the belly rise and fall. Comfortably inhale. And softly exhale. Continue with your natural breath, feeling the air enter through your nostrils and then exiting gently. On the exhales, the breath leaves the chest, ribs fall, belly contracts. Become in touch with your heart. Self-compassion and self-love. Feel the breath in a wave movement. Inhale your arms up to the sky. Bring the right hand down about a foot and a half away from your hip. Draw that right elbow towards your hip and reach that left arm overhead, shining your heart towards the sky. Deep inhale and exhale. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulders down your back. Start breathing, inhaling into the left side of your body, visualizing the expansion of your ribs, your obliques, even sending the breath down into that left hip area. Gently exhale, maybe going in deeper. Good. Be mindful here of leaving your eyes closed, relaxing that right ear down on your, towards your right shoulder. On your next inhale, release that top arm down and away from you to allow your left side of your neck to stretch even more. You can move your head side to side. Find that comfortable place 
your edge and release in that edge. This yin class is also about listening to your body, becoming more in touch with your body, the sensations, and allowing ourselves to move through these sensations to find a place of stillness, release, and calmness. If you feel inclined to do so, you can bind your, your arm behind you for a deeper stretch in the neck. And when you're ready, take that right hand, bring it on your temple and draw your head back to center. Roll your shoulders back and down, big circles with your shoulders, keeping your eyes closed, really releasing all the tension and then switch directions, rolling your shoulders forward and down with your breath, allowing your head to feel heavy. Inhale your arms up to the sky and when you're ready, release that left hand down on your mat about a foot and a half away from your hip. Draw that left elbow towards your chest and then reach that right arm overhead, keeping your chest shining forward and up. Relax your head and your neck, drawing that left ear down towards your left shoulder. Notice if you're drawing the shoulders up towards the ears, relax the shoulders away from the ears and back and down along your, your spine, your shoulder blades, slide them down. Breathe into the right side, visualizing the expansion of your ribs. And exhale deeper into the stretch here. Feel your sit bones rooted into your mat. That contact is important. When you're ready, draw that right arm down and away from you. Notice how that feels in the right side of your neck. And gently move your neck sideways. Maybe you feel something different if you're facing down towards your mat as opposed to sideways. Beautiful. Keep your heart shining forward and up and relax with each exhalation. Relax deeper into your stretch here. You may bind that arm behind you and grab a part of your, your pants or your thigh if that's accessible to you. That may produce a deeper stretch in even in down in your shoulder in your left and your right arm deep breath in and relax deeper here with the exhalation good take your left hand place it on your temple and bring your head back to center Inhale, palms facing up on your thighs, and exhale. Good. Slowly make your way on your back, taking a belt, a strap, a scarf, Bring your arms overhead and your feet stretched out and stretch, stretch, stretch on both extremities as far as you can with all of your energy and release. Take your belt, wrap it around the ball of your right foot and we're gonna stretch the hamstrings here. You can keep the left leg bent or extend it out in front of you 
When you exhale, draw that right leg towards your chest, holding the belt either midway or towards the top of your foot. Flex your foot toward, towards your face. You can keep a micro bend in the knee or bend it even more to get a, a better sense of the hamstring stretch if that's good for you. Just breathe here and allow yourself to slowly ease your stretch here so that you don't injure yourself. We don't want to go into this stretch too quickly. Just allow the exhalations to draw your leg in closer. Relax your shoulders and your neck. You can play around with that bending the knee and then extending the leg up towards the sky once again. Push out of the top heel, keeping your foot flexed. We're here for not too long. In other words, this is also called recline big toe pose. And if you lack flexibility, it can definitely help using the belt. On your next inhale, draw the leg across your body, taking your right thumb, putting it into your right hip crease and pushing your hip out and away from you and down, down away from you as you stretch your IT band. So you don't have to bring your leg all the way down, enough to just feel a stretch on the outer part of your leg, the IT band, into the hip. You might even feeling on, you might even feel it on the outside of your uh, calf and your your lower leg and into the heel. Try and keep your back relaxed and your head and your jaw relaxed. This can be intense. Slowly ease yourself into this. And then bring your leg back up to center and then slowly lower it towards the outside of your body, keeping your left hand on your left hip to encourage your hip to stay flat on the mat. Deep breath in and a nice breath out. Slowly allow your leg to open up. And if you need extra support, you can always have a blanket, a block underneath your leg here. You can always readjust your arm or the strap in order to feel comfortable with your shoulders. Bring your leg back to center, grab the belt up higher, bring your head to your knee as you draw your leg in deeper towards you, shoulders off of the mat, deep inhale, and maybe bend the knee towards your head for an extra deeper stretch, and then release that foot down on your mat. And let's switch sides. Extend the leg up, bring the belt around your left foot, the ball of your foot, and then exhale it slowly towards you. And just modify if you need to here, whatever you need to do in order to feel the stretch in your hamstring. 
So whatever that is, go there with yourself. And keep in touch with your breathing. Maybe keep your eyes closed and your jaw relaxed. <sighs> Feel free to keep going with this even when I'm done teaching this. You can hold these longer than I am doing right now with myself. You can always pause the video and hold this longer for yourself. Maybe you need a deeper IT band stretch today and the leg needs to stay there for five minutes instead of two or three. Relax your arms. Take the belt with your right hand and then slowly coax it across your body for the outer stretch of your left leg. Take that left thumb, put it in the crease of your left hip and push the hip down and away from you. This allows for the proper alignment of your hip. It, it, it encourages that. Keep that foot flexed while maintaining that stretch here. Close your eyes and just relax in your edge here. Allow yourself to just let go. Try and be still. Come back to center. Draw your leg in to your chest once and then hold your belt with the left hand and send your leg directly straight out away from your body. Place that right hand onto your right thigh to encourage it to stay down on your mat. Maybe you can look to the right. Deep breath in through the belly. Maybe sending that breath into your hips and then exhale, feel the belly sink and the chest sink. Relax into your mat. Deep breathing. Slowly bring your leg back to center. Draw it in closer to your chest. Lift your shoulders off of your mat. Bring your forehead to your leg and maybe go in deeper here as you exhale. Just a couple of breaths here. And release that leg down on your mat. Good. Remove the belt onto the side. Bring your knees to your chest, interlace your fingers around your shins and rock yourself side to side here. Giving your lower back a little massage. 
Open your arms into a T. Shift your hips a little, about an inch to the left and drop your knees to the right at a 90 degree angle from you. Look to the left if that's accessible to you. Keep your knees together. And if you want an even deeper stretch into your left side, you may want to explore with that left arm. Bring it, bring it away from you up and away. And you could possibly stretch that left leg out away from you as well. Draw that left shoulder down into your mat. And oh, that feels so good. Just relax here into your twist. When you inhale, expand the side ribs. Feel the breath going in all the areas of your body, allowing space to occur. And when you release your breath, when you exhale, feel that nice gentle ease that you provide yourself with your eyes closed. Breathe here. Now's the time to remind yourself to be gentle with yourself. To send all of that love in you out into the world. Allowing your person, your energy, who you are, to be valued and to be part of this world. You give so much by just being you. Self-compassion, self-love is so important. Come back to center, shift your hips to the right and send your knees to the left for a spinal twist on the other side. Look towards the right if that feels good to you and reach that right arm overhead for a deeper stretch on your right, on your right side. Deep breath in through the belly, sending the breath up through the chest, expanding the lower ribs, the obliques, all the way up to the armpit. And then as you exhale, release your back down into your mat and release the belly button down into the spine, relaxing your knees, and if you feel like you need more support, you can always place a blanket between your knees. Reminding yourself that this is a yin class. 
find a place for yourself where you're able to release the tension in your body using breath. Your breath allows for continuous movement and life within you. It can ease stress when you breathe deeper, longer, when you allow the breath to take over. like an ocean wave, wave after wave, brushing against the shore, never ending cycle of life. Slowly draw your knees back to center. Draw them into your chest and give yourself a hug here. Come to a seat. Come onto your tabletop. Tuck your toes and send your hips back for a downward facing dog. Feet hip width apart, shoulders broad and opened. Bend your knees and then straighten them again. Tailbone up and away from you, belly button drawn to the spine. Feel the fingers and the knuckles in your mat. And then bring that right foot between your hands. Lower the back knee and come into a dragon. Your knees are framing your foot. Send your crown forward and then come up, put it, putting your hands on your thigh, on your right thigh. If you don't, if you don't feel like doing that because it, it's uncomfortable for you, you can keep your hands on your mat. Otherwise, elongate your torso and your spine towards the sky and allow yourself to lunge deeper here, allowing your hip flexors to stretch on your left side. Really reach that crown up towards the sky. Open up your chest towards the front. Open up that heart. Give yourself that space. Breathe here. You can close your eyes if that's if that feels good to you to allow yourself to come in deeper into yourself and your body. You can lean forward and bring your hands on your mat if that's more comfortable for you as well. I am choosing to bring my hands back on my mat and extending my crown forward, elongating my back, really extending my back from my tailbone out towards the front of the mat. Maybe with each exhale, you can let go a little bit deeper. 
relaxing your muscles and allowing that stretch to go deeper and relax, relax in that stretch. Breathing in and out. Bring both hands inside of your right foot. Send that foot towards the outer edge of your mat and come into low lizard here, either on a block or a blanket or something propped up to put your, your, your arms on, or you can just have your hands or your forearms onto your mat. Relax here. This is intense. So breathe through your edge and just allow yourself to feel that. If if you feel like like you can go there, send your right foot on the outer edge and take that right hand overhead. Have that left forearm underneath your shoulder. And you can take that right hand and press your right thigh out and away from you to get a deeper stretch. Relax your neck and your eyes and your jaw here. You can even reach your, your right arm overhead and bind it behind you. To get a deeper stretch, you can hold on to your pants or just simply keep that right arm overhead, reaching for the sky. When you're ready, slowly bring your foot back to center, frame your foot with your hands and slowly send your hips back for a half split, maybe inching your right foot forward a little bit and and going back and forth here and then keeping your hips centered with your mat and deep breathing and when you're ready send that knee back tuck your toes and send your hips back for downward facing dog inhale and exhale inhale both heels up and exhale them down to your mat belly button to spine, inhale your left foot out and then send your, send your left foot forward and come into a low dragon on this side. You can start by staying on your hands or you can go right away into bringing both hands on your, your left thigh and extending the spine up towards the sky. Engaging the core, sending that belly button towards the spine. And feeling your legs activated, your left glutes stretching, your right hip flexors stretching. With every exhale, try and relax a little bit deeper into your stretch, into your lunge here. I sometimes wiggle my hips side to side. Making me become more aware of just how I feel on every angle in my hips. Try and make sure if you're if you're extending your spine up towards the sky that your pelvis is is reaching down for your mat and you're facing forward with your hips. Try and imagine drawing your left hip back and your right hip forward. Relax your shoulders, keep them in line with your ears. And Give your chest space to open up towards the front of your mat, the front of your space, and close your eyes. Mm -hmm. 
When you're ready, wiggle your left foot towards the edge of your mat and bring your forearms down on your mat or a block once again for low lizard. If it feels better for you, you can always tuck the toes and lift the back knee and elongate your back extended leg so that it's off of your mat. And then send yourself forward and back on the ball of that foot if that if that's accessible to you otherwise just stay here and if if you feel like going on your forearms is is just too deep just come back on your hands or stack two blocks and bring your forearms on your blocks when you're ready Send that left foot on its outer edge and either stay here or you can always take your right hand, bring it overhead, and press your thigh out and away from you with that left hand. Make sure your forearm and your shoulders are, your elbow and your shoulder on your right arm are level, are in line with each other. And feel that deep stretch. Breathe here. If this is too much for your left ankle, you can always just stay in low lizard. When you're ready, come back to center, bringing your foot back to center, and come into half split. And in your half split, just send your hips back, forward and back again, just giving your hamstring a little ease of stretch. Tuck your back toes, bring that left foot back, and then send your hips back for downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg up behind you and then come into pigeon bringing your left your right knee along your right arm and and bringing it down on your mat look back make sure your leg is straight inhale interlacing your fingers behind you deep inhale as you reach up and then slowly bring yourself down leading with the heart you can stack your fists and relax your forehead onto your fists or a block or your mat. You can also start on your hands first and then slowly move onto your forearms. We're here for a couple of minutes. Just, so just breathe and ease yourself into this. Beautiful. Come into stillness. Any thoughts that come into your mind as you try and relax, just allow them to pass by, watching them subjectively. Come back to your center, your stability, your inner stability, your calmness, so that you can keep becoming familiar with that part of yourself and bring it, bringing it into your life every day.
relax. Deep breath in, expanding the belly, the lower back, sending the breath into your hip. And as you exhale, try and relax those muscles, those muscles that are tense in your hip. Try and let them go. When you're ready, tuck the back toe, lift the knee, send that right foot back behind you for three-legged dog, and then bring it back down to meet the left. Inhale in your downward facing dog. Exhale, sending the hips back, belly button to spine. Inhale, the left foot behind you for three-legged dog. Send that knee, that left knee to your left elbow, and then draw it down for pigeon. Look back behind you at your extended leg, making sure it's straight behind you, toes untucked. Inhale, chest up. You can maybe interlace your fingers behind your chest, Ooh, really reaching up with the heart, and then bring your hands down, and then slowly bring yourself down onto your forearms, leading with the heart. And just breathe here. You can maybe Sway your hips side to side slightly, gent gently. And adjust yourself how you like, making sure your knee, your left knee, is not, is not towards the left side. You, you want to try as much as possible to center the knee with the front of the mat. And by all means, you do not have to have that left leg straight, per like perpendicular to you. It's okay to have it on an angle. In other words, your left foot doesn't have to be reaching your right arm. As long as you get a deeper stretch in your hip, then that's what matters. Yoga is a work in, not a workout. It's really about allowing ourselves to let go and to become more in touch with ourselves at every level. So just let go here. When you're ready, bring yourself back up slowly with your hands. And just really embrace your pigeon here. If you feel inclined to do so, you can tuck your toe and bring that left leg back behind you for three-legged dog once more and bring it back to meet the right into your downward facing dog. Inhale, bring the knees down to your mat. Come onto a seat. Extend the right leg out in front of you and bring that left foot inside of the right thigh. Look towards your extended leg, inhale your arms up, and exhale them forward for an extension in the spine. You can take your belt 
wrap it around the ball of your right foot, flex the foot towards your face, and then exhale, drawing yourself down, holding your belt with both hands. Try and hone in on the extension in your spine before rounding forward. Once, once, that's, once that's done, you can allow yourself to relax into your fold here. Another trick of mine is placing the block right underneath my right foot of my extended leg and holding on to the block. That allows my foot to stay at a 90 degree angle at least. So for those of you who have a hard time flexing the foot towards your face, towards your body, holding a block against your foot and holding the block may might be pretty helpful for you if your arms can reach around the block. You can also have your hands on your shin or by the sides of your shin and just relax here. Breathe into the back of that leg. Just be gentle with yourself here. Allow your breath to relax you. Good. Come back to center. Extend your left leg out. Bring your right foot inside of your left thigh. And then extend forward and fold here. You can take your belt once more and bring it around your the ball of your left foot to allow you to help guide you into that stretch here. Be mindful of your breath. Deeper inhales, deeper exhales. You can always keep a micro bend in your extended leg and your knee. If, if that helps you go deeper, but then try and see if you can actually fully extend that leg. Sometimes I like to bend and then straighten bend and straighten and then eventually staying straight
slowly make your way back up. Extend both legs out into a V. Inhale your arms up ahead above and extend them forward and fold here. Keep your feet flexed. This will allow our lower back and our inner thighs to stretch. Seated. It's a seated fold with wide legs. As you inhale, extend forward, and as you exhale, fold. Keep doing that with your breath. And close your eyes, allowing yourself to fully take all of that in. Notice your space. Notice how your hands feel, your shoulders, your back. You can also bring your forearms onto your mat. You may you might be able to fully fold and bring your entire body onto the mat, and that's that's good as well if you're able to do that with your own body. That feels so good. Moments of silence are really important. Finding stillness within you is not doing nothing. It's everything. Find that internal stillness that comes from st stillness of the body. When we're still in the body, it can help still our mind. Slowly work your way back up on your fingertips. Take your legs from the outside, bend your knees. Bring your hands behind you and then start swaying your knees side to side in a windshield wiping movement. Slowly loosening up the hips and the legs and the lower back. Feels really nice. Slowly make your way onto the front of your body and then bend your knees at a 90 degree angle and sway your legs side to side. You can rest your chin on your hands. When you're done, extend that left arm directly away from you and push yourself to your side with your right hand. Legs are extended, or you can bend the top leg if that's accessible to you. We're coming into a nice pec and shoulder stretch in the inner part of our left arm. You can rest your head on your mat or a block or a rolled up blanket. 
we're here for a few minutes and then we're going to move into the next side. Deep breath in and a nice breath out again. Deep breath in through the belly, sending it up the chest and release, release deeper into your shoulder. Sometimes I like to float that top arm up towards the sky and slightly behind me to open up the chest and the heart. Deep breath in, become ready to slowly shift yourself back onto your stomach, leaving your left arm extended, your forehead on your mat, slowly draw your hand back beside your shoulder, both hands by your shoulders, extend the right arm away from you. Push yourself to your side with your left hand. We'll do the same thing on this side for a few minutes, being mindful of just letting our bodies go. Close your eyes and allow yourself to fully let go here.
take a deep breath in and a nice breath out. Good. Slowly make your way back on your belly, forehead on your mat. Slide your arm back towards your side, hand by your shoulder. Just breathe here for a couple of breaths, completely still. When you're ready, slowly make your way onto your back. Slowly rolling yourself on your back. Open your knees. And come into a supine butterfly pose or supta baddha konasana soles of the feet together arms by your side into a t overhead whatever feels good to you you may want some support underneath your legs your knees if that if that's something that is required for you and either stay here or extend your legs fully out into shavasana Allow yourself to completely melt here. Namaste. Mahalo.